request. Hmm. What? What's true? This is where the accident happened, isn't it? If we put in the keyword here, we should be able to access the trauma cell. There may be enemies ahead. Are you sure you guys are ready? That's right. I want to see what happened to Marisan with my own two eyes. The keyword is Snow City. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. What is this? It looks like this is the snow festival. those two suits over there I didn't know you were accepting rebates <laughs> I see a career man in the making sir would you please be discreet about this I can do that but in return you need to do me a favor I want her to take full responsibility for the incident that way she'll resign once that happens I'll be the new mayor in town, and you'll be my well-paid associate. You will cooperate, won't you? Yes. Yes, of course. What did you just say? Ah! The mayor! Oh, it seems I've been found out. It's not what it looks like, Mayor. This is... Mayor? Does he mean Mayor Hyoto? Then... Mari-san saw this happen? I had no idea you were behind this. That anyone was behind this! Huh. You really don't get it, do you? Well, this festival is held by the city. I mean, it comes out of the taxpayer's pocket. I figured, why not lower costs and hire cheaper construction? What's wrong with getting compensated for it? The rest of our staff makes these deals all the time. So, what's the harm in one little mishap? That sculpture collapse was just bad luck. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I'm calling the police. Well, go ahead and do it. But I'm bringing you down with me. What? I'm gonna testify that I did it under your orders. Then you'll be ruined. Well, after all, you're the one in charge here. See, I even have the papers you signed. Right here. Such an unfortunate turn of events. Sorry to say, but you're finished, Mayor. You have counsel on you? Don't you want to do the right thing? As far as I'm concerned, that's whatever's right for me. Well... Are you finally ready to listen? Answer me, Mayor. Be ready. How can you blame a peon like me? We don't get paid enough for this. This world revolves around money. Money talks, bullshit walks, Mayor. Bastard. Threatened the mayor? Is that it? I had no idea Mari-san went through something like this. Something so awful. Think later, act now. We've got a real fight in our hands here. Take this! Persona! 
Slime! I'm in a woozy! Alago! Hi Pixie! Arcane! Satanta! Come on! Switch out!
This one, much thanks. There. Okay, this one. I'm safe. Okay. Let's go. Take this. Come, grab it, Zach. That would have helped me. No forgotten a follow up attack. This one. Come! Grab it, Zep! Have the night! Over. Seems I've gained new power. All of them. We can get into the throne room now. Who were those guys? They were arguing with the mayor just now. One was a city employee. The other must have been a councilman. Someone higher up on the ladder. Anyway, it seems this employee accepted an illegal donation from the contractor who ended up building the sculpture. Payment for landing them the job. In other words, bribery. We don't know if the sculpture collapsed due to a structural issue or a general lack of care. The result is still the same. Either way, the councilman was in the know. Not only that, he tried using a fatal accident to take Mayor Hyodo's position. <sighs> Something along those lines. Uh, unforgivable. Everything makes sense now. Hyodo overheard this conversation by chance and found out the truth about the accident. Not only was it someone from the city, but even her own staff had blackmailed her. It's messed up! These greedy assholes only wanted money and power! Now I have a better understanding of what Hyoto must be thinking. When she found out those around her were immoral, she became determined to purge the corruption above all else. That's why she's overworking her staff and trying to push her ethics bill through. And on top of it, she's trying to manipulate the people into re-electing her. Mari-san. Well, no matter what the reason, the birdcage is finally open. Let's head back to the hideout and discuss the specifics of the calling card. What do we do for the calling card? Maybe we shouldn't go overboard with it. I don't really see her as a bad person. Yeah, the real bad guy here is the one who took the bribe. No, the guy who offered the bribe in the first place is the true villain. Was it not the shoddy contractors who built the sculpture? And they deserve the most punishment. <sighs> you guys sound pretty heated. Who's to say one man's more evil than the next? So you were here all along. Whoa, why the hostility? You guys forgot about me, didn't you? Why would you not get in contact with me? Well, uh, now that you mention it... Gramps, you completely slipped our minds. Alright then. 
Maybe I'll forget to keep you from getting arrested. Okay, we're sorry. Ah, uh, forget it. So what's our situation? Now I get the picture. So that's how Mariko Hyoto became a monarch. Uh, that would explain your debate as to who was the worst of them all. What's your take on it, Gramps? My take is you kids are naive. What do you mean? It's clear that Mariko Hyoto was cornered by a pair of rotten scumbags. Tragic, I agree. But what is she doing in response? Isn't it just as wrong to change people's hearts and manipulate them? That may be true, but... Furthermore, that accident was her responsibility, being that she's the top of command. Regardless of who did what, a real leader takes the fall. But even so... It may be a bitter pill to swallow, especially for a group of justice-loving kids operating outside the law, but the real world isn't so cut and dry. And the longer you keep up this hero charade, the harder it'll bite you in the ass down the line. Kichi, that's terrible! Take it back! Sorry. Might have overstepped my boundaries. No, I can understand your line of reasoning. You're saying that the world isn't neatly divided into good and evil. But that won't stop us from fighting. If we give up now, then the people who are counting on us won't have any hope left. We help people in a way no one else can. That's why the Phantom Thieves exist. I understand you all take this very seriously. Then tell me. Either way the cards fall, you're not letting Hyoto get away with what she's doing, are you? Correct. We're going to stop her. Haru. What Mari-san is doing is forcing her warped intentions onto other people. And we can't let that happen, no matter what the reason. Right. We're the Phantom Thieves, and we fight for what we believe in. Yes, we're gonna stop Hyoto. But we'll do it in a way that's true to us. I have no objections. It's decided then. Thank you. So how will we send the calling card? Maybe we could send it over with some curry to the mayor's office? What are we, a catering service? <sighs> if anything, it should be ramen. Might be better to avoid closed spaces, actually. After all, she'll probably be outside prepping for the election most of the time. There's no point sending a calling card if the target doesn't see it. I wonder if we can send it somewhere on her campaign route. Like somewhere she's bound to pass by. Then how about where the Suzushino posters are? I'm sure she'll have a speech over there. Yeah, and if we time it with her speech, it'll be perfect. The question is, who's going to place it there? Ah, uh, no. Not again. Seriously? Thanks in advance, Gramps. Now hold on just a minute. Didn't I already pull this stunt for you in Sendai? Consider it a favor, then. Yeah, for being such a meanie earlier. Shouldn't you own up to it? There's no need to worry. We'll make the calling card for you. We'll be counting on you, Gramps. You little weasels. All right, fine, fine. I'll post the damn calling card. We really do appreciate it. How'd I let them twist my arm like this? Uh, whatever. If we're really doing this, it'll be early in the morning. Don't be late. Hey.
Good to me. Back soon.
Sorry. What are you looking? What are you selling? Are you sure? Yo! to browse the entry, what will you be registering? Would you like to reg- This persona has been registered in its present. You wish to strengthen it? How much power will you add? Awaken your new self. It seems that it can gain new power. May luck be on your side. Just add this. Hmm. What's 
room. I'm sorry to call you out so late. Thanks for being here. I wanted to talk to you about Mari-san. It's strange how I couldn't remember Mari-san until now. Even when Hasegawa-san said her name, it didn't quite occur to me who she was. But the moment she called me Haru-chan, suddenly, it felt like a lid popped open to my mind, and my memories came pouring out. I remembered all these things about my childhood, about Mari-san. How could I forget someone I loved so much? What happened with my father affected me more than I realized. All the times we spent together, and the moment he passed away, I must have suppressed those memories deep within my heart. At some point, I got used to hiding things away, and I even forgot a good friend like Mari-san. Thanks for understanding. To be honest, I feel like I was running from the past again. <sighs> a long time ago, I remember tagging along with Mari-san and my father during a golfing trip. I was so happy running around that I ended up tripping and falling. Then of course I started crying. Then all of a sudden, Mari-san came up to me and said, Stop crying and get back up. And that shocked me at first because I always thought of her as an extremely gentle person. But because I knew she was so kind, I managed to stop crying and eventually got back up. I remember thinking Mari-san would never say anything out of place. I trusted her completely. At that point, Mari-san hugged me and said, No matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Never forget that. <laughs> can you believe it? I didn't quite understand back then. But I think I do now. There's more to good character than kindness. Being good means dealing with the bad in front of you. It means to take a stand, even when all you want to do is run away. To realize nothing will change if you keep ignoring reality. you and the Phantom Thieves to thank for that. It's too late to save my father. But it's not too late for Mari-san. This time, I can change things around. I want to tell her exactly what she told me all those years ago. Yes. Thanks for hearing me out. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my absolute best. But for now, good night. Hey. Why is Haru so upset over Mariko Hyodo? I don't have a heart, so it's hard to understand. Why do people try so hard for others? I wonder if I'll ever know. Even virtual assistants feel down when they don't understand something. It may seem like a simple concept to you, but to me, it makes my mind go... <laughs> but, I am humanity's companion. I am here to learn and grow. What 
is that? A calling card? Whoa, it's real. What's going on? Mariko Kyoto, the false empress with a frozen heart. You are a cold manipulator who treats people as tools to be discarded. We find this unforgivable and will end your reign of abuse. In fact, we will take back the desires you stole this very night. This is... They say they're going to steal my desires? What a bold-faced lie! Those desires are mine, and mine alone! As long as I'm the monarch, I won't let anyone stop me! Very well. I was just beginning to work up an appetite. I wonder what you'll taste like. Perhaps I should gobble you up and find out! Mari-san, it'll all be over soon. I'll just add this. Let's go! We need to change Mari-san's heart! Kyoto's distorted form. What do you people want? You had best... Best not get in my way! Oh, I'm almost there. Give me a few more votes and I'll win re-election! This is wrong, Mari-san. Those votes you gathered by twisting the people's hearts are worthless. And if you don't stop your tyranny, your staff will collapse. One by one. I get why it's hard for you to trust people, but you still have to treat them with decency. Ah! You shut your impudent mouth! I've done nothing wrong! I will wring out every ounce of corruption from my staff by working them into the ground! I'll silence all charlatans who betray me! And I will consume every last Vote in the city! Whether these people agree with me or not, only then can I build a safe haven of radiant snow city that sparkles like winter. Listen 
said to him. When you take away someone's desire, you rob them of their agency, the ability to make their own decisions. So what good does it do to turn your loyal citizens into mindless drones? Isn't it better to let them arrive at their own conclusions? To follow their own hearts? How dare you lecture me! Good job, Noor. You tell her. Mari-san, say goodbye to the countless desires you stole. Because Beauty Thief and the Phantom Thieves are about to take them back! Honestly, they're all in my way! This is the last straw! You've made me so very Time and the main course. It's true. Ah! what you're doing is wrong. So we'll be taking those desires back. Shut your prissy little mouth. What would you know? I will consume all who oppose me, no matter who they are! You either eat or be eaten! Oh, what's with all the food? Take this! I want some. Now's not the time to stuff your face! Here she comes! Persona! I'll get them! Come! I'll use this.
Wizard has stuck. Oh yeah, payback time! He's immune to electricity, but plus it's real strong! Watch your back! Hey, watch your health! I'm getting dressed out there! I'll use this. Persona! Muffman! Everyone stay focused! This one. Okay. Persona! Take this! Got it! Go! You forgot his follow-up attack! You're mine! Persona! Persona! Come, take this! Let me go! This is your chance! It's showtime! More! There's still more! I must eat every last one of you!
Okay, I'm this sorry, one. Okay. There. Okay. There. Persona! This one. There. Come on. You're mine. Persona! With this! Let's go. Take this! Grab it, sir! It's over! who tried to set you up. Even the girl who died in the accident. <sighs> Each of these things grieved you, and in order to make a city where none of it could reoccur, you took action as you saw fit. Am I right? As the mayor, I know very well that little girl's death was ultimately my fault. But my staff betrayed me! All for their insatiable greed! I thought I could leave that awful position behind. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as that. Had I gone, I'd only be replaced by greedy scum! That's why I never stepped down. In this world, it's either eat or be eaten. And with circumstances so cruel, I decided I'd be the one doing the eating. Even if every last one of my votes were false, at least I could use them to make the world a better place. But if I was replaced as mayor, who would be there to honor that little girl's memory? An innocent girl lost her life, yet I could do nothing to stop the evil still afoot. It's not too late to set this right. First, you must tell the people everything that happened. Then can you get a fresh start, but this time on your own strength. That would be... impossible. I cooperated with those awful men to hide the truth. That way I could continue being mayor. There's nothing I can do. 
Stand up, Mariko Hyodo! Are you just going to stay knocked down? You are a kind and strong woman, not someone who collapses over mistakes. So stand up and hold your head up high, because no matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Isn't that... Yes. You said that to me a long time ago. Even if you told the people the truth about the incident, there are those who would still see the good in you. Don't let your position ruin you. Think back to what you stood for. She's right, Mayor. You can't give up. If you tell everyone your side of things, they'll listen. When my father died, I felt like my heart was going to break. But thanks to the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand strong and move forward. That's why I know you can too. Remember the part of you that taught me to get back up, no matter how many times I fall. Yes. You're right. Thank you, Haruka. What I've done was wrong. I drove my employees to the brink, and used a strange power to manipulate the votes. I was so driven by my personal agenda, I lost sight of how I originally felt. And why I ran for mayor in the first place. To make a city beloved by everyone. To give back to the home where I was raised. That's reason enough to take another step. I won't make this mistake again. I never needed this power from the start! Haruchan, you've grown so much. Your father must be so happy in heaven. Mari-san... Happy? Took us quite a while. Haru, you were fantastic. It was only because you were all with me. But I do wonder if Marisan will be okay. I'd say so. Her shadow disappeared like they always do. Yeah, your feelings definitely reached her. I'm sure her heart has changed for the better. Well, I guess this wraps up the mission. We still need to confirm that the citizens are all back to normal. It'd be nice if we could do that right away. Can we grab something to eat first? I'm hungry enough to pass out here. He has a point. Battles can't be fought on an empty stomach. The battle's already over, but still. Hey, can we try Genghis Khan? That delicious lamb barbecue dish? That's a must in Hokkaido. What? I thought we were finally getting lobster hot pot. Since when did we decide that? Why would we when it's so damn hot out? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like hot pot? No way! Isn't it supposed to be barbecue? Well, cooking Genghis Khan does require a utensil called a Genghis Khan pot. And you can't barbecue in a pot. I figured as much. Then to Lobster Hot Pot we go. Why? What, what even is this conversation? <laughs> hey, was that a smile just now? Yeah, straight from Sapporo. It's Beauty Thieves award-winning smile. I'm relieved too. I thought you might be weighed down by all that's happened. Indeed. She was so weighed down that she met up with our leader for a private midnight chat. Huh? Were you watching? <laughs> Alright, so 
Sophia. Find us the best Genghis Khan in Sephora. Hmm. Sophia? Uh, sorry. Okay, I've got it. seems pretty normal to me. Their fanatical support for Mariko Hyodo appears to have died down. I'm glad they're back to their senses. What a drastic change. Just goes to show how powerful a monarch's influence can be. Hey, guess what? Hyodo-san's holding a press conference right now. Thank you all for taking your time to gather here today. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to share with everyone. As of today, I will be resigning from office. I do not intend to seek re-election, either. During my time as mayor, I've betrayed all of your trust. You may think of me as a mayor who's earned your trust, but in truth, there's plenty that I'm ashamed of. The snow sculpture that collapsed was built by an unscrupulous company that bribed one of my staff. In spite of my responsibility, I neglected to see the finer details and went ahead with the construction. As a result, the sculpture ended up collapsing and a girl's precious life was lost. Furthermore, I elected to cover up the truth all so I could save my position. I've been garnering votes I didn't deserve in order to stay on as mayor. I betrayed everyone to protect myself and covered it up by allowing more wrongdoing. I am among the guilty. That little girl, she died because of me. <sighs> as such, I will have the police reinvestigate the case and offer my full assistance. And again, I will drop out of the election and forfeit my position as mayor. Seems that Hyoro-san's made up her mind. I wonder if she'll be arrested. Good question. Oh, Yoda was afraid that if she wasn't the mayor, she couldn't protect her people. She could have told the truth and made her underling take the blame. But she was concerned about other evils potentially lurking in the shadows. I think this turned out for the best. Mari-san wouldn't have wanted to hide her mistake forever. Zenkichi is on the line. Hey, you guys see Hyoto's press conference? Yep, you all did a bang-up job. Really, can't thank you enough. They plan on bringing Kyoto in as a key witness regarding the accident. I knew you'd want to analyze her phone, too. So I pulled a few strings, and now I'm her personal chauffeur. At least as far as the station. If you want, I can open up some time for you to talk to her. Just tell me where you want to meet. Oh, I'm sorry. How could you ever forgive me, Kaho-chan? Mari-san. Harucha. Listen, there was something wrong with me. It's like I was in a terrible dream. I don't know. Listen, there was something wrong with me. It's like I was in a terrible dream. I don't know when it was that my heart grew so cold. But after what you told me, I remembered who I really was inside. When I became the mayor, I wanted to protect the city and everyone in it as if they were my own family. I remembered that feeling. 
Thanks to you, I've finally been able to confront myself. And I realized that I was doing a horrible disservice to that girl. I had lost sight of reality and begun acting self-righteous. Nothing I did was for her sake. But Mari-san, you were doing the best you could. No, it's the truth. Had I not realized my mistake, I would have likely continued to hurt even more people. But that's not what Kahochan would want. So let me say thank you, Haruchan. Thank you for saving this city, for saving my family. Mari-san! Your father's recent passing must have caused you so much turmoil. I'm sorry I added to it. But if there's anything I can do for you in the future, any way I can be there, just ask me. I say this because you're a precious part of my family, too. Thank you so much, Mari-san. Oh, Haru-chan! I'm happy for you, Haru. Huh. I suppose I must get going. Though I am concerned about the state of affairs I've left our city in. I'll leave it up to my successor. An arrogant wretch like me has no place being the mayor. Does that mean you won't be involved in politics anymore? Yes. I'm too ashamed to show my face in public. And at my age, there are plenty of younger folks who can... Mayor. Or... I saw the news. So you're resigning. And you're leaving politics for good? That's right. I've promised to step down and never... You can't be serious! Resigning won't bring her back. In fact, it won't change a thing. Kaho... Nothing can change what happened to my daughter. Hey, uh, shouldn't we get in there? Hold that thought a moment. So you can't. You can't just run away. You need to start over and become our mayor again. What? When I was weeping with rage and grief, she stood there and cried with me. Instead of running away, you were there when I needed someone the most. I know your character more than anyone. Ma'am, thank you for sharing your heart with me. Then I promise to both you and your daughter, I will stand back up and become your mayor again. Marisa. Hmm. I don't get it. I know this is a sad moment. Everyone is crying. But it also feels warm and kind. How would you describe this? So that's why Haru helped Yodo transform sadness into happiness. Recording valuable data. Sophia has learned happiness. That must have been the mom of the girl who passed away. You no, know, it seems like she really understood Yodo's intentions. I'm so happy for you, Marisa. She reminded me of what Haru said in jail. Stand up, Mariko Yodo! Like that? Hey! That was a tender moment! There's no need to reenact it. Yeah, but you played it so cool back there. Oh, it really touched my heart. Could you please forget it already? 
truly moving. You did good. Uh, that's... It really was Could use your assistance. What are you going to do? Is something the matter? What are you going to do? Let's get going. So I went to talk to Hyodo, but nothing new came out of it. All she explained is that she could control whoever added her as a friend on Emma. Not to worry, I have it with me. Here. Now that's what I want to see. Reviewing the facts, I've just about confirmed it. Each of these so-called incidents, I think they all stemmed from a mastermind. Oh? I'm curious as to why you think so. Yodo, Natsume, Alice... All three were changing people's hearts to do bad things. But deep down, none of them were truly evil. At the very least, they're not the same as the rulers who distorted reality for their own sakes and ended up spawning palaces. 
I'd been considering that as well. Before Natsume lost sight of his writing, he was diligently working toward his dreams. Alice, too. She was doing her very best to be a ray of light and hope for other people. Mari-san was also striving for the betterment of everyone in Sapporo. Right. They're different from criminal scum like Kamoshida and Madarame, who acted only for their own benefit. Okay. But how does a handful of not-so-evil monarchs prove there's a mastermind behind all this? The fact that jails are fundamentally different from palaces provides us a big clue. For starters, jails don't have any treasures for the taking. All we've found are people's stolen desires. That means monarchs don't have twisted enough wills to reshape reality and form treasures. Which would mean that jails aren't created by the monarchs themselves. Someone else must be doing the creating. Our final clue is the locks on all those bird cages. In order to get to the monarch, we've always had to unlock a door that denies us passage. I had thought this was just a security measure designed to protect the monarch and the desires held within. But if that were the case, why would traumatic memories the monarch would rather erase be the key to unlocking it? Given that these are cognitive worlds, maybe it means monarchs think their trauma will protect them. I find that rather odd. If anything, I would think it's the other way around. Correct. What if it is the other way around? Why might a door like that exist? Right, I think so too. What if that door isn't to keep intruders out, but to trap monarchs in? You mean they're trapped? I thought the monarchs are the ones in charge. Think about it. What would happen if a monarch tried leaving their cage? They touch the door, and then hear the voices of their trauma? Exactly. They'll remember what made them so warped in the first place, and stick to their guns as a monarch. And thus, the cycle continues unbroken. The monarchs really are birds in a cage. From that perspective, the shadows protecting the keys inside the trauma cell hold a far more sinister purpose. They aren't there to prevent the Monarch's trauma from being discovered. They're Wardens guarding an elaborate system to ensure the Monarch's imprisonment. Let me get this straight. You're basically saying these Monarchs are being manipulated, and by virtue of that, there's somebody doing the manipulating. How's Hyodo-san's smartphone looking? Nothing wrong with her phone or the Emma installed, but I did find traces of surveillance. Huh. I'll bet it's the same snooper we keep running into, though I'm lost as to who it might be. So this observer and our mastermind may just be one and the same. Hmm. Anyone have any guesses? Our first suspect is Medis, the company in charge of Emma. Since you can't get into jails without Emma, I can't write it off as mere coincidence. Medis, huh? Uh, too bad we can't just storm their headquarters. You mean the cops can't actually do that? Of course not. How could we even put out a warrant on them? By saying they go around turning people into monarchs? You have a call from Ichinose. Hi there! Sorry for the relative lapse in communication, but I did turn up some info that I thought you guys might like to know. So, I've been looking into Emma all this time, and I still have yet to find any differences between her past and present versions. I mean, this is state-of-the-art tech, not something just anybody could pry open and take a look inside. But then I took a peek at Emma's changelog, and that's where things got interesting. It seems Emma was transported to Okinawa at some point after I sold her to Medis. Why was the first thing that popped into my head? So I dug around some more. And I found that off the coast of Okinawa, on the island of Kokojima, Medis apparently has a research lab! Oddly enough, its existence is unknown to the public, and 
when I called to ask for records, nothing came up. Basically, they're running a secret research lab. How crazy is that? So, if Emma's been altered in any way, I would think it had to have been done on that island. Well, guys, wasn't I a super stellar source of information? Investigating, actually. Well, guess it's bye for now, Phantom Thieves. Please regale me with tales of your adventure another time. So, what did Ichinose san say? Okinawa? Crystal clear waters? Shisa statues? Juicy pineapples? Shinsuko cookies? Oh, that too! It's that ramen-like thing, yeah? Guys, can you snap out of it? If it's an unregistered facility, we could always say we're conducting a field survey. That way we could ensure their cooperation. We may even find proper evidence that could be used in court. It may be well worth going. But Kukujima is a bit far from the Okinawa mainland. Then I guess we'd have to go by plane. Wait, what about our precious Feathermobile? We've taken it all this way! That's what you're naming this thing? Plus, you said it'd be dangerous using public transportation. Even so, wouldn't it be too complicated to try to reach Okinawa by car? Oh, give me a sec. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Of course I'm aware, but I also have a job to do, you know? <laughs> Who's he talking to? Why would I lie? I'm being honest, I swear! Uh, of course I remember. The thing is, I'm a little... Uh, well... Oh. You got hung up on. Uh, okay, guys. Plane to no-go. We're driving. Huh? You mean we're going all the way to Okinawa by car? <laughs> the thing is, I need to make a stop along the way. So we'll be heading to Kyoto first. Did you say Kyoto? Yeah, I primarily work for the Kyoto Police Department. I thought I'd take a moment to catch up, share intel, you know, cop stuff. After that, we head to Kobe. We can take a direct ferry to Okinawa from there. That ought to cut down on time. That's still quite a distance, even to Kyoto. Not to worry, I'll do the driving. You're tagging along? Wait, am I to believe that Nijima's been doing all the driving? Okumura, I thought you already had your license. I do have it. It's just... I don't have much experience behind the wheel. Plus, Haru's driving is... not exactly... Uh... <laughs> well, in any case, we're taking off immediately. If we're leaving from here, You'll need to take the Hokuriku Expressway. The estimated travel time will be... About... 21 hours, give or take. Gramps is correct. 21 hours? Are you nuts? You forget I'm an officer of the law? We're badass at driving. What's with him all of a sudden? It's like a little fire under his ass. Fine by me. So long as I can visit Kyoto at last. There goes Inari, revealing his true colors. All right then, let's hit the road. I'll get you rascals there in record time. Mm hmm
Want your pee down, Mary at all? Want your pee down, Mary at all? Mary at all? Mary thanks. What's up, dude? That up sweet. Come on. at all. Is this what you'd like? Here you go. Is this? Here you go. Thanks so much.
let's come here again. on the menu. Displaying recipes. Is that what you were hungry for? We're going to make this? All done. Thanks. I should write something. 